Hello to pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your dude Alvin Drill and in this video I'm going to show you the pitfalls I run while installing my NVIDIA Tesla K80 24 gigs GPU. So as you can see this is how it looks. It's kind of big, thick and heavy. So this is my setup, this is my desktop computer and as you can see over here I have my processor in the top, it is an AMD, you, you can have Intel as well. I have my gigabyte video card and my power supply. So I also have in this video card, I mean in this motherboard, an extra slot for, uh, well, video card. This is for the Tesla. I have done so two videos in the past about this uh, Asus motherboard. I updated the BIOS version and I installed a new power supply. So if you're interested in that, I'm going to leave the links for those videos in the video description below. Now, your motherboard might, might be an Asus, a newer model, older model, or another brand. So the process is going to be similar. Just make sure that in the BIOS, uh, you know this, the name of the settings, okay? So I'll have a few seconds to adjust my camera, and this is my desktop. It's Windows 11, can be Windows 10, Windows 8. I never tested in Windows 7, but I'm just showing you that this is a working desktop computer, okay? So now I'm going to shut it down. Allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera. Now I'm showing you that I'm not wearing any jewelry or watches and I'm going to discharge myself of any static electricity that I might have in my body by touching the metallic case for a few seconds. That way I don't damage the circuitry. Now that is shut down and this is the Tesla K80. So one thing that you have to remember is this um, GPU is kind of two GPUs in one. So it uses 300 watts of power. So make sure your power supply over here is using enough, uh, has enough juice, okay? The one I have here is, is uh, supports up to 60, uh, 650 watts. So I just tell you that one of the reasons it might not be working is because it doesn't have enough power, all right? Next. Let's proceed to install the GPU. As you can see, this is my Gigabyte that I mentioned before. You might only have one. Uh, the Tesla, I have, in this case, I'm going to have two. So this is the cable that comes normally with the Tesla. If it doesn't come, you have to buy it. I'm going to leave the link in the description below. It's useful if you have it over here. I'm just showing you how it looks. So you have the right connection. If you don't have the cable, this cable, you might have the same uh, connectors from your power supply, but if not, it might not work. So this cable is going to be needed. So they look like this, as you can see over here. And now uh, I'm going to proceed to connect it like that's pretty simple. Uh, it looks like this is the only connector that this Tesla has besides the one that goes to the, to the motherboard, of course. So uh, I have an extra DDD um, a video card uh, slot on my motherboard. So now I'm going to proceed. Uh, one more thing. We also need these, these connectors from the power supply. These, uh, these are the ones that I was talking a few seconds ago that, uh, that you may have the ones that go directly, but this is how they look. And they are going to be connected to the connector that goes to the Tesla, okay? So I'm just showing you how they look because at the beginning I didn't have uh, the, the yellow cable over here that is connected to the Tesla. So it was not working, I had to order it. Now I'm going to proceed to do the installation for the Tesla, make sure that it's uh, correctly connected to the motherboard. That way uh, it's, not go, it's not going to give us false positives. Now you proceed to connect it, it has to connect really easily. If it doesn't fit, it means that you are doing it in the wrong position. Okay, so allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera. I'm going to turn on the computer. And the video is sped, sped up here, and we can wait all the time that we want, but it's never going to show us anything. As you can see, the light in the monitor is like orange. That means that it, it seems that nothing is connected. So did, it, did this happen to you? Let me know in the comment section below. So one setting is the one, a setting is missing for us. So I'm going to shut it down over here. I'm going to disconnect the power supply from the Tesla like this. I'm not going to disconnect it because I don't really need it. And now I'm going to turn it on again. Allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera. The video is going to be sped up for a few seconds here. And you're going to see the Asus logo. I'm going, I'm starting to press Dell or F2 to access the BIOS. Your motherboard might have another, another key. So this is how it looks. And from here, we have to go to advanced uh, mode on the bottom right. And from here, we go to advanced again, like this. And here we have to look for PCI subsystem settings. So you click on that and we have to enable this setting uh, above G4 decoding. 
okay so we have you have to enable it the rest can be you can leave it by default but this is the setting that I was talking about that it might be different on your motherboard now we have to save it and the computer is going to restart so in the in this time windows is going to boot up as it did before oh, uh, i mean the first time but i'm going to shut it down because we don't need it right now so the computer is off and now we are going to proceed to connect the power supply to the tesla okay really quick as i'm doing it here once that's done i'm going to turn it on again and see what happens so allow me for a second to adjust my camera and as you can see i see the asus logo i'm not going to press anything now and we're going to go to windows so that setting was the one that was needed for the tesla to be recognized so now i'm going to log in to windows and from here i'm going to go i'm going to look for a device manager over here you click on it it's going to take a few seconds to open it and in this part the video sped up and i have to close a few windows because i didn't have internet at the time so now over here we have to look for display adapters we click we click on that and as you can see i have three video cards my nvidia gtx 1070 and the two teslas k80 as i mentioned before uh, this tesla model is two gpus in one 12 gigabytes each okay so i'm going to leave the links in in the description below for the drivers so you can install it right now uh, allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera and one more thing uh, the Tesla gets hot really quick, so I, I advise you to have some fans, some ventilation equipment, <laughs> so you can continue with your machine learning stuff or cr crypto mining, okay? So that's how you install a Tesla K80 on a computer. Maybe now you want to watch one of these videos. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Um, if you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, as you know, I'll see you in the next video.